HBO. I'm HBO. I always wanted to just to have a top lead. I always wanted to just beast. I always wanted to have dudes that ball. I always had dudes that compete. I always had dudes that was great. I always wanted for us to be the best of the best. I always wanted us to be top. But I want y'all to know, I'm HBO. And I'm the king of commentary. And we about to get this lit. Of course, playoffs is on the way. Here comes a new show. Yeah, and we have the computer right here. Yo, what's up, fellas? Let's talk about the playoffs. Kansas City Chiefs is that dude. If you know that man, June, he balls out of control. He gets it done. He gets his defense playing. He gets it pushing. He goes hard. He runs the ball. He's a skillful dude. He has beat a lot of dudes this season. This man ain't trying to lose. This man is trying to keep winning. This man is trying to be number one in the division. He's still number one after taking two losses. I still think he's going to finish strong. He may go to the Super Bowl if he can keep the heat on his team. And I think Kareem Hunt will be back. And these boys will be ready. Yes, sir. Let's talk about Miami Dolphins. We talk about Hot Tub. Hot Tub's that dude. He's that dude that plays. He's that dude that compete. He's that dude that ball out of control. And I got to say, this man is ready. This man is ready to push limits. This man is ready to get victories. This man is ready to go hard. This man is a tough. Guy. This guy has been in the dynasty. This guy has played in Harleys. This guy has beat the Chiefs. This guy is ready for playoffs. Can he go all the way? We can. We go see. This guy is good. He's not that bad at all. And I'm ready to see some playoff football. I'm ready to see these Dolphins go out and go hard. Let's see what these boys do. Let's see what they do. Let's go. Let's move on to the Browns. We believe. We believe in Cleveland Browns. We believe the Browns can go back to the Super Bowl someday, but not this season. This AFC West not, is so strong with Chiefs and Broncos. I don't believe my boy Nizal's going to go that far. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But we're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. But I got to say, Browns, man, I'm not hating on you. You're going to be strong in the playoffs, but you're not going all the way. You're not going all the way because HBO has spoken and HBO has said so. Denver Broncos is really that dude. He can run the ball with a quarterback. He can switch you. He can beat you running. He can beat you throwing. He's a pretty good dude. He's tough. He always talking about what he needs to do. He's that shining knight that John Elway looked for. And John Elway is ready to get these boys back to the ball. I believe the Broncos is ready to go. I believe the Broncos is going to win a first round victory on whoever they play. But a first round bye with these boys is fairly good. But Denver Broncos keep up the good work, man. Let's move on to these Tennessee Titans. The Titans is an unusual user. I don't know if he's really that dude. Is he really that good? He's tough. He finished strong in his division. But I just get that sense of he ain't played nobody. Strong. He ain't played nobody. And when you ain't played nobody strong, you got the question how you got here. You're not that dude. But I'm not going to hate on you. Just go out there and smash somebody. Show off. Show these boys how you going to do. Baltimore Ravens. This dude snuck in the playoffs. This dude snuck in the playoffs, I believe. I believe you're in. If not, then I probably left a team out of the video. But this boy, the Ravens, is a pretty good, strong user, especially with not a lot of players on this Raven team. This Baltimore Raven team ain't really got no studs. He got Joe Flacco at quarterback, I think. His running backs are not good, but this guy comes out and he plays hard and he goes strong up in this strong conference right here. Good luck in the playoffs, Ravens. Good luck. We'll see what you do, my dude. Good luck, bro. You never know, man. You never know. Let's talk about the Atlanta Falcons. 
NFC. Water boy. Water boy is that dude. Water boy is strong. Water boy has won a Super Bowl before. Water boy was talking a whole lot of trash, and he said that the NFC have to go through him. He said everybody in the NFC gotta go through Water boy. Do you believe that? You gotta go through Water boy. That is what he said. He said that he's gonna beat everybody easily. Wow. Let's move on to the Eagles. This dude, T Rock, is not the owner that we all want to be. He's, he, he, he finished with a big win 58 to 10. I give him that. I give him that. But he lost against HP. I gave him the poop, poop, poop. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. He's not ready for these playoffs. He's a pretender. He's a pretender. And they got him ranked three in the NFC? No, no, horrible, horrible. Get out of here. This guy's going to lose. Let's move on to the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers always say I screw him out of the playoffs. He always says it's my fault, my fault. It's not my fault. It's your fault because you're not ready to go as far as the Super Bowl. I have never seen you win the first round. I have never seen you compete at a high level. I have never seen you do what you got to do. I don't think you're going to take care of business. You're going to sleep because you got work at 6 a.m. You're going to get blown out your first game of the playoffs. And I got to say, good luck to you, Packers, because HBO said so. Yeah, boy. Let's move on to the Carolina Panthers. When I look at the Panthers, I got to say, every time I see you play, you lose. You lose. You just lose. You run a lead. But your focus should be here, my bro. It should be here. That's why I don't think you're going to go anywhere. I don't think you're going to be that strong. I'm sorry to criticize you and stuff like that, but this is force. If you ain't putting all your marbles into one back, you're not going to come out with better results. I think you need to get strong this year in the draft and fill some voids, but I think you're going to get an ass whooping in the first round. Seahawks. This guy has said that he is one of the strongest dudes in the league. But you haven't beat anybody to prove it to me. Superman Seahawks. You haven't beat nobody to prove it to me. So how do you think you're strong? How do you think you're that dude? How do you think you can beat anybody out there? You're going to get blown in the second round. I don't think you you got what it takes to go Super Bowl. But I got to say, compete hard. But you're going to get destroyed, my dude. Let's go. St. Louis Rams. You snuck in. I believe you snuck in. You got in. You slipped right through. But is that going to be enough for you to compete at a high level in the playoffs? Can the Todd Gurley show get real? Can the Packers actually throw? I mean, I'm sorry. Can the Rams actually throw? I don't know. But this is the forced playoffs. You guys better be ready. You guys better be ready to compete. You guys ready to be, better, ready to be able to I mean, ready to be at a high level. You guys better be going, man. Let's go. Let's push it. Let's go.